Hi everyone, Emma here. I have a tutorial for you. So we are going to make these lovely flower bezels. So this was the original one that I did and um, I have a video showing some other bezels that I did and this was on my tray and somebody spotted it and asked about it. So I um, yeah, I was excited and thought, yeah, it's time to start doing some bezeling again. So let me adjust the camera here, set it up, and let's take a closer look. So um, this is a, let me get my, I think it's a 14. You know, now that I think of it, this may be a smaller size. this is yeah this is a 14 so this is a 14 uh, millimeter rivoli so that's what we're gonna cover and you can do it with any size um, it it will work with like say between a uh, you think that's a 14 it would probably work between a 12 to an 18 even um, it it's very forgiving is what I'm getting at so this is what it looks like on the front so it has these lovely flower petals on the sides so I call this the lotus flower so I, I will put the link to the other video because I show you how to do a square and I show you how to do a circle um, bezel. And then this is what it looks like on the back. Now, I did some practice pieces last night and I actually changed something because I realized these beads here, this strand here, you don't actually need. So we can take those out and I think I did one without it so maybe it's this one yeah so you can see you don't need those beads there and you can see how this would be very forgiving for the size and it's it moves a bit so it's not super tight is what I'm getting at so yeah, this is really easy. So let's go ahead and I'll show you how to do it. So um, it was uh, Kaori Tayama, Tayama uh, that mentioned about it. So good eye, <laughs> Kaori. And uh, definitely, <laughs> anytime you see something like that, let me know because I love doing this. This is why I'm here. <laughs> I love doing this stuff and I love showing you guys. And this is like... The other part to this is I'm new to this, so I'm like, it's playing. So let me tell you what I have. So I have my 14 millimeter Rivoli, and then this is green metallic um, Czech 110 seed beads. That's all you need. Some some thread. So I'm using the dragon, the new dragon thread, but you can use whatever you have available. So we'll put that aside and a needle um, I'm using this is a size 10 needle um, you can use a size 12 as well so and I just pulled a wingspan you don't need that much you're gonna pick up five 11 O's So this part's a little bit finicky because there's not a lot there so you're going to pull this all the way down and you're just going to leave enough of a tail to tie a knot and I tend to leave quite a small tail but don't do that because <laughs> it'll come off and you'll be like oh Emma told me to do it that way what happened just make a knot I'm being silly today. I did a studio tour and uh, yeah, I'm really, really embarrassed at the amount of stuff I have. 
and I my excuse is I was planning on doing I was planning on selling stuff at the farmers market and doing um, bead parties like I used to do so I would go into people's homes and do bead parties so they would have their friends over and there'd be wine and food and I'd figure out I do a couple of different designs, bracelet designs, and then I'd let them pick what they wanted, like ahead of time, the person who was organizing it. And they would say, okay, we want to do, the, you know, a leather wrap bracelet, that kind of thing. So I just clipped, tied it twice, clipped it, left a little bit of a tail there. So now I'm going to go through the beads and I'm going to hide that tail. It just it slides right in. I'll enlarge this here for you. Just snug it in there so now it's somewhat hiding. And I'm going to go around a second time. I don't think you have to, but I think, you know, if your knot ever came loose, <laughs> at least you have a second set, you know, a the strand going around a second time so yeah then with those bead parties I would I would bring extra stuff in case people wanted to buy stuff to make stuff at home and they always did so yeah it was I'd come home with a, a fifth full of money that's for sure and so much fun and half drunk <laughs> Yep. So this is what you have. So you have this little kind of star pattern with your five beads. So now you're going to pick up a seed bead and you're going to put it in between two beads. So we're coming out of here. And we're going to go into the next one. Like that. Put it through. and go to the next one you don't have to you just want it to sit in there you don't have to pull it in too hard so so this this part's a little finicky because there's not a lot to grab onto and what you can do is you can leave that strand of thread and then cut it after so you have something to hold on to so you're coming out of this bead we're going to go into the next one pull it through and just like that and keep doing that all the way around there I'll try and keep it in the same orientation so I don't confuse you so coming out of this one I'm gonna go into this one And I'm using different color beads because I was just trying to do something fun. So you can use your basic silver or gold. So coming out of here, going into this one. And this is our last one. You can see it's kind of creating this little star pattern. So we, our next set of beads is going to go here. So we want to be in this bead. So when I come through here, I'm going to let my needle go through the next bead you just have to wiggle your needle a bit like that there's your bead so i should show you the back so you know what we're doing here because i, I was pausing thinking what's next <laughs> So we're going to create a star. I don't know if you can really see this star pattern. Let me see the orange one. It might be easier to see the star pattern. So now what we're going to start to do is we're going to start to add two seed beads. We're going to skip one in the middle and go through the next one and then add two. And we're going to do that all the way around. So I'll show you exactly. Don't worry. It's going to be very clear so now you are as long as your thread is coming out of one of these peaks 
You're good. I can't believe the fruit fly on my finger. The cats have been in here trying to get this fly. <laughs> my office is cold. What is this fruit fly doing? I feel like Linus with all the flies going around. Honest, I am a clean person. Now we're going to pick up two sea beets. We're coming out of this one. We're going to go into the next peak. So we're going to skip this middle one. We're going to go through here. I can't believe that fruit fly. So that's what it's going to look like. So now it's going to, you know, it's not going to look like much as we start to add this, but just try and visualize these peaks. So we're going to add two, we're going to skip this middle one, we're going to go to the peak. So pick up two seed beads, that, coming out of this one, we're going to go into this one, pull it through. I wonder if that fruit fly will come back. <laughs> no wonder my cats have been going. They're like howling, looking at the ceiling. They're so funny. Okay. And you just do that all the way around. Okay, so we're coming into this one. We're going to go into that one. Now we have one more to do, and you can see it's starting to look different, so you, it's hard to tell where your peak is. But if you take a look where your thread's coming out, so your thread's coming out of here, you're going to skip one, you're going to go into this one. That's your peak. So pick up two, that, and go through this one. So we can go up. The next one as well because now we're back to the same position of these two beads and we're going to add some more beads there so I hope that wasn't confusing let me know if ever I'm doing a video and you find certain things confusing because I will work on that so that Sometimes, because I do it so often, I go fast and I'll skip a step. And, you know, you guys don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so I have to do it step at a time. So I, I, I won't be offended if you let me know. That's what I'm trying to say. So, we're, so now we're back to the first position. So we want to create a star pattern. So we need these pieces sticking out. So we're coming out of this bead, we added two beads, and we're going to go into the very next one. So this is kind of like an arm of a of the star. Because stars have arms, you know. And just, you know, move your beads around to kind of, and you can tighten that. Okay, so now we need to be, this is our next set here. So we need to be coming out of this one, but our thread's there. So we need to go down this one and then up this one. So we're going to go down through here. Sometimes you can do it both in one set. So you went down that one and up that one. And just watch your thread doesn't get caught up. There we go. I'm just going to turn on this, pick up two. So in this one, you could actually go down the two. So again, I hope this isn't confusing. Let me, let me do it in two steps first. So we're coming out of here. We're going to go into this one. And I know that you are 
smart and can figure this out, but everybody learns differently and, and registers differently. And sometimes I speak fast. So, okay, so we want to be coming out of this bead. So we need to go down this one and up the next one just like that. I don't think that went through there, like that. So if you can, I you know, I used a, um, initially I used a size 12 needle and they're pretty soft. I actually was able to <laughs> turn the corner. My needle was like all bent. <laughs> okay, so now we're ready to add two beads to this arm. One. Two. We'll go through here. I'm going to go down through that one there to get ready to come up that one here. So that's a different way of doing it too. And again, just move your beads so that they sit nicely like that. And then go up this one. Sorry, I keep moving my, my my mat. I use my mat as my guide to where I'm at, and then I end up moving my mat around. So, pick up two. Go down this one, and you can go down the next one. those guys nicely and go up this one here oops I had to know what it is with seed beads I just love playing with them you know it's so funny I think about my mother used to do hand sewing all the time so she would hem our jeans and stuff like that and I thought oh my gosh she has a sewing machine why doesn't she use the sewing machine and I find myself doing like really fine beadwork and I see my hand going like this and I'm thinking oh my gosh I'm doing the same movement my mother did and it's it's soothing and you get this sense of accomplishment too that you think I created this out of nothing out of thread and beads so that's pretty cool <laughs> okay so let's now go up these two beads now so we're back around so the thread is coming out of this bead here and it's a bit hard to see so try and get in here Needle your needle around. Okay. So now we are at the beginning of our star. So let me just make sure. Pretty sure you only have to do two on each. Yeah. So now we're going to add the peak to the star. So we only need one bead for that. So we are going to go and I'm going to do a kind of a, I don't want to say trick, but a shortcut is what I'm going for. So we'll just go through this bead here to add it. The reason being we need to add a pico onto that top bead. And if we can avoid going up and down these beads, the, all the better so now our thread is coming out of this bead we're going to bring our thread over and we're going to go back up this bead next to it like that and it's going to hide that thread you can't see it okay. so now we're going to go through the peak that we're going to pick up three more beads 
we're going to create a pico here and that's what's going to attach sorry that's what's going to attach our rivoli to the front so we're coming out of this side with our thread we're going to go into the opposite side with our three beads like that there so it creates a little pico so I am going to go through these guys again I'm just going to flip my work so that I'm going from right to left so I'm going to go through these beads again just to secure them so they're not all loose and just make sure your thread doesn't get hooked on stuff then come down through this side here So there's your first pico on your star. Now we need to do it to this one, this one, this one, this one. So we will have to go down here and up there. So just take your needle, see, if you wiggle it a bit, you can kind of get through to the three beads there like that. <coughs> that and I'm just going to turn this to make it easier then we have to go up these two beads like that <clears throat> you're going to pick up one bead you're going to go down so you're coming out of this one and out of this one you're going to go down the next one and just that one like that you're going to cross over and you're going to go up the bead next to it like that like that tight then you're going to go through that top bead and now we're going to add our pico so pick up three and eleven o's there's no point you know they're all eleven o's <laughs> it's not like we have a bunch of different size beads so coming out of this side we're going to go into this side I just noticed that one's a little lighter than the the others you can actually see it on the video these were from the beading room but you, that happens you get different colorations okay so now we're gonna go through go around the pico and then come down so we can go through two at a time here just tighten that <clears throat> then go down through these two And straighten it out like that. There. Like that. So now we need to go down through these guys down here and then come up and do the next one. So you can see the size 10 needle actually goes through these pretty pretty well so and go up these two that bead is turned a bit so let's see if I can get that through both there we go I'm trying to keep my hands in the same position. I find the 
the finer work that you do, you move closer to your body. So we're picking up one. That one looks pretty tiny and warped. I think we'll leave that one there. There we go. It's a nicer one. So go down this one. Go up the next one beside it. Like that. Like that. Then go through that bead that you just added. Pick up three. And go so you're coming out here. You want to go to the other side and create a loop, which makes a nice little pico. Probably my next favorite thing to do in diamonds is picos. <laughs> Maybe I, I have a diamond fetish. I definitely have a Swarovski one. And then through here. Like that. And then the one side. Okay. Now we're going to go down these guys. I think, again, I must sound like a broken record, but I think it's amazing that you can create something from nothing. <laughs> Just amazes me. It's spectacular. We're making little stars. Pick up one. Go through just the one. And then go up. The one beside it. I'm gonna move my mat here. Like that. So this design with the star with these like arms going out, you can use this for a whole bunch of other things. So I have a design that I'm going to show you this. You can do these guys. Isn't that amazing? And with this, there's another design where you put a bunch of these together and create a cross. So I'll do a video on that. Lots of fun. And you can use that other design as the bottom of a bezel. Let me show you. I have to check if I have one. So on a bigger um, Rivoli, and I thought I had one. So let me just check. I have a bin full of these. I just started today by, um, ah, I found it. So this is a star pattern, but look it. Ta-da. So there's a star pattern there, but then you use the super duos. That's cool. So you could do different, you know, you could do this same lotus flower on the front, but use this on the back. So, yeah, we'll do that too. These are so much fun. Okay. So, now we need three beads. Like that. We're coming out of this side, we're going to go into the other side. And we're going to go through them again. And through this. It's loose right now, but I'm going to tighten it. Like that. Let's move that a bit. Like 
Perfect. And now we're going to go down, pass through these three beads. And up the two. Like that. Pick up one. Go down the next one. And just that one. Go to the one beside it and go up through that one. Like that. And pull tight. Go through that one you just added. Pick up your three. Coming out that side, go in this side. And then go around. And we're going to go one more time to the top because we need to be in the top position. I'm just going to pop these guys. So go back up here and here. So now we're going to add. And I'm just going to take a look at my notes because there's different adding of beads here. So this one here, we added one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So I thought, but I wanted to make sure. So now we're going to pick up seven. So make sure that you're coming out of one of your top picos. Just gonna check if this is in focus here. Yeah. Now pick up seven. Yeah. There's four and three and seven. You're gonna go so your thread is coming out of let me just straighten this a bit here. So your thread is coming out of this side. So you're going to go to the next one, like that. Just like that. And you can leave it loose, don't pull it tight. Then go and pick up seven more and do that all the way around. You're going to see this, this part is so, so easy. Okay, I lost count here. There are seven. Go to the next top pico. Like that. Pick up seven. And go to the next pico. That. Oops, I got eight on that one. Check. Okay, go to the next pico. That. Pick up your last seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, five, six, seven. And go to your pico again on this side. Okay. We are going to go through some of those beads, but I want to do it in two steps so that it's not confusing. So now we have this. You can put your the 
typo in and hold it there if you want. And we can pull it a little bit tight. But for this, I'm going to wait because this design is kind of loose to begin with. So you can, you can add your bead. So now, let me check my notes. I, it was like months ago that I did this thing. And then last night I just reviewed, um, I guess I, I just figured it out on my own. So I just had to sit and count the beads. So now that we've done our, um, I think it's five we add. Let's check. There's the flower. So one, two, three, four, five. And we put it in the middle one. Okay. So we need to go to the middle of this seven beads. So the middle will be the fourth bead. Okay, so you're going to have three on one side, three on the other, and the four is your middle bead. Okay, so we are coming out of this pico bead here. So let's count one, two, three, and whoops. I'm looking through the camera. It's not a good idea. There's the four. Okay. So now if you look at this, I'm going to pull it apart. You can see you have three beads on this side. There's your Pico. You want your middle bead to be your connecting bead. And then you have three on this side. It will make sense as we go. So let's go like this. I'm just going to pull that. Okay, now we're going to pick up five beads. Okay, there's five. So now we want to let's I'll look at it this way, it might be easier. So you have threads in the way here. You have your three on this side, then your pico, then your three. So you're going to pick up your fourth bead, which is your middle bead. Okay, go through. And you can leave this loose right now. So we'll just continue with the next one. So pick up five. Okay, pick up your five. You look at it this way so you don't even have to count that side if you look there's your pico you want to leave three and then pick up the fourth one oops there's three and this is the fourth one like that go through pick up five There's your five. There's your pico. You've got three on that side, three on this side. There's the pico. One, two, three, and go through the fourth. Like that. So we're going to do that all the way around. And you see, I'm not pulling it tight. You can if you want, and you can add your your um, rivoli. But we'll just leave it loose for now. One, two, three, four, five. There's your pico. One, two, three, and go through the fourth. Everything will tighten, so don't stress. That's my job. <laughs> I'm, the, I'm the worry wart. I got it figured out. 
Okay, five. There's your Pico. Let's see here. Okay, there's the Pico. One, two, three, four. And you could probably just figure it out because your thread where you started is coming out there too. So now we've made it all the way around. So now we can put our crystal in. And watch the magic. It's very special. So, put that in there. Hold it down. And pull everything tight. There's the first step. So it's still a bit loose. But that's fine because we're going to tighten it up again. So it's pretty... Okay, so the next one is, um, we, I think we go through, okay, so now we're going to pay attention to this crossover bead here, you can see, what we're going to do is we're going to bring our thread through, but we're going to leave one bead next to that crossover bead. I'm looking through the camera. It never works. It's like looking through a mirror. Okay. So you're basically, for this one, we're going through four, but for the next, we're only going to go through three. But we'll get to that. So we're going to skip this bead. There's our crossover bead. So we're going to leave that one there. The fruit flies back. <laughs> so let's pull this through first before we do the next thing. Okay. We're going to pick up one seed bead. We're going to skip the crossover and skip the one next to it. Then we're going to pick up three. Because what that does is it brings us to that crossover and skipping that one bead. So we're going to do that all the way around. And that is going to tighten it into a circle for us. Okay, let's see if we can show you. So there's our crossover. We're going to pick up one bead. We're going to skip that bead. We're going to skip the crossover. We're going to skip the next one. We're going to go through the next three beads. And bring it through. Okay. And just, you know, carefully turn your work. Pick up the bead. There's your crossover. Where am I here? Confused. There's the crossover. So you skip that first bead, skip the crossover, skip the next one, then we're going to go through three beads like that. And again, it's super loose, but it's magic. <laughs> Just wait for it. <laughs> okay, we're going to pick up one. There's our crossover bead, sorry. There's our crossover bead. Skip that one, skip the crossover, skip the next one, and go through the next three beads. Okay, pick up one. Skip that one there. Skip the crossover, skip the one next to it. Go through the next three beads. And we are at the beginning. Now we can tighten it. Like that. Like that. Isn't that pretty? Like tighten. Just tighten as much as you want. But you can see there's still room. So you could get a bigger 
crystal in there for sure. So let me see how much. So now what I'm going to do, now that we've created this circle, I'm going to go through all the ones in the circle again, and that will tighten everything up. So we're going through the ones we added and the threes. And that will tighten everything. Okay. It's a bit lopsided, it'll get straightened out in a sec here. So this is my special lotus flower design. This is me just playing with how many beads I add and skip. So lots of fun. Yeah, I think this crystal is a little too small. So you can maybe not put as many so I put seven and I think initially I had five. So you might want to change it to five. I can't remember. I think the reason why I changed it to seven. So here's the thing. You need an uneven number so that you have a single bead in the middle of equals on either side. And I think on one of these, yeah, so I think it was this one, I only did, yeah, so you can see I did one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I, I did six. So you had like, yeah, there's two on that side and three on that side. No, five. I, I can't count. Yeah, there's two on each side. But you see how this is like really tight. And you see thread and stuff. So that's why. And you can see thread there. So that's why I moved up from five to seven. Because if I were to put six, then it would be uneven to find your middle spot. So that is why I did it that way. So yeah, this is like super loose. But you can always go through with your thread. I think this crystal is just small. So let's show you. So we went through that. Um, let me go through here, through this. And I will tie it off at the back. So now I'm just basically following my thread path. So. You can see that's where our initial pico is, or a pico that we created when we brought the beads together at the front. So I'm going to follow that back. Maybe just go through these guys. And you can see as I'm going through, here's the other thing. If you use um, a thicker thread, it will have more um, structure to it. So if you use, a, say, a 10, a 6 or a 10 pound thread. So I'm just bringing it to the back here. Let's go down here and make a knot. And actually, we probably don't have to put a knot since this is so tight. Um, 
put a knot just to be safe. Here, let's do the knot at the top here. half hitch knot like that, like that, can't really see it, so let's just go around the bead and bring it down here, and that should be it. Here's the other thing is, these beads might be slightly bigger than what I was using, and I have found that different beads are slightly slightly bigger so there is your lotus flower <laughs> so how easy is that I can totally see doing a whole bracelet with these guys be amazing so let me see there's let's put a few here so you can see so this one was really tight. I I don't know why the um Oh no, look, it's still loose here. It's got to be the crystal. I think this crystal was in my bin of Swarovskis, and you know what? I don't think it's a Swarovski. I think it's one of those resin ones and I think it was narrow like here I'll show you an example so some of the ones that you get on AliExpress are they're narrower this way so that's probably what it was there we go I hope you enjoyed that thank you so much Thank you so much, Kaori Tayama. Uh, this was a lot of fun. I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I think the next thing we need to do is make a bracelet with these beautiful flowers. They're so lovely. <laughs> Take care, everybody. See you in the next video. Bye.